We've had the Centurion um, basically since it was released, so we've been using it in the operating room for about one year. And we've always used the Alcon line of products in our operating room. So although we consider the other options, going from the Infinity to the Centurion was a pretty natural choice for us in our OR. We were already set up for Alcon products, and so it was a natural transition for us just upgrading one machine to another. Now, there's several things that we liked about the Centurion. One is that we, like I mentioned before, we were already set up with Alcon products and used to the look and feel of, of Alcon. So it was an easy transition surgically. Uh, it looked and felt like things we already recognized. But the technology in the Centurion is, is greatly advanced over the Infinity. The fluidics are, are greatly improved, so you've got a much more stable anterior chamber, which makes surgery easier, faster, more efficient. The tip, the energy used for fake multiplication is really, um, they designed the, the machine around torsional technology. With the Infinity, torsional technology was sort of pushed on the machine, they kind of made it work. With this, they took that technology and built the machine around it, so it's a much more efficient machine. And also, I in particular do a lot of complicated cases, um, and the advantages in the Centurion are fantastic for me. The vitrector is greatly improved, and so if we have to remove vitreous, it's a safer, faster, and more efficient process. And it really allows me to do things that I couldn't safely or easily do with prior generation machines. The Centurion is part of what Alcon's calling their cataract and refractive suite. It's just one component of what we are, are using. But it really does integrate very nicely with some of their other products. So we also have a LensX and we have Alcon microscopes and we're using the intraoperative tracking devices, which they call Varion. And using their suite of products, it, it does make it easier for one to flow into another. Three major differences with the Centurion. One is that they have what's called active fluidics. This is a big change from prior generation FACO machines and I believe the, the Centurion is the only FACO machine that now uses this. Where instead of hanging the balanced salt solution or the irrigating fluid from the ceiling, it puts it into a cartridge which has compression plates. And so the FACO machine is actively regulating intraocular pressure uh, with a feedback loop. So you're, you're actually maintaining pressure in an active state, not relying on gravity flow to keep fluid in the eye. And by doing that, you have a more stable anterior chamber. Um, and that is something that you will notice immediately when you start using the machine. As I also mentioned, they've designed the FACO machine around OSLO technology. So the tip, the FACO tip itself looks a little bit different and they call it the balance tip. And it is true that you will see a much more efficient removal of lens material using that using this balanced tip and their ozzel or torsional technology. The vitrector also improved. Um, the cut rate with the vitrector now goes up to, I believe, 5,000, and it's a 23 gauge vitrector, so it goes through much smaller incisions. And for me, that change in the vitrector is in some cases a lifesaver. What I like the best about the Centurion is that it delivers what they promised. Um, there is a noticeable difference in stability in the anterior chamber. The phacal emulsification um, efficiency is greatly improved, and it, it really does make surgery faster, easier, and safer, I think. Uh, it integrates well into the other technologies that we've introduced into the operating room. So cataract surgery really is molding into refractive surgery, and having a machine like the Centurion helps you do that. It helps you integrate the other technologies, and that's going to continue, I think, through the next couple of years with more advancements. Really haven't unlocked all of the power of the Centurion yet. There are more updates that are going to be coming. So we need to see what happens over the next five years, because this is a machine that's built to grow. Integration with the Centurion, for the most part, is pretty easy. The machine, the user interface, though, is significantly more complicated. There's a lot more moving parts and a lot more variables that you can now change and it's selectable even by, by surgeon and user. So you really should not expect to get this machine, put it in your operating room, unwrap it and use it right away. I would strongly recommend having an Alcon representative uh, help you set that machine up before you go. Especially now that we're no longer using a bottle height, you want to make sure that you have your what's called IOP set correctly so that when you first start using that machine, you've got the stability in the anterior chamber that you need. The graphic user interface for the Centurion is very good but also very confusing. There's a lot more selectable features um, and you can get a little bit lost in the user interface if you don't know what you're doing before you start surgery. So again, I just really make sure you're familiar with the machine before you jump in in the operating room.
We also had a little bit of problem with the foot pedal initially. The foot pedal for the Centurion is now wireless and when we initially started using the unit, we had trouble linking the foot pedal to the machine itself. It never impacted patient safety. We always knew the problem before we started surgery and simply plugged the pedal in. But you want to make sure that that machine is working correctly right off the bat before you start doing surgery. We've been very, very happy with the Centurion. I do think it's, it's head and shoulders above the rest as far as FACO machines go. Um, the, uh, I have recommended it already to several of my colleagues and some of them have purchased the machine and gotten back to me saying, you know what, thank you for the, the good recommendation.